Yeah, good. Welcome to the show, Vishesh. Vish, Vish. I'll edit this part, don't worry. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Vish, Vish. All good, yeah. Very nice. Uh, when, when we had Rohan on the podcast, yeah. right? So, uh, we were talking about martial arts, jiu-jitsu, yeah. because he saw the nunchucks, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, then he told me that I have a friend who's super passionate about martial arts. Right. He's super passionate and he's doing something about it, which will be, you know, groundbreaking for a city like Pune. Hopefully, so, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so I was told, I was told, listen, I was like, listen, Ron, I want to talk to this dude. So, right. here we are. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. How do you know Rohan, by the way? Like, so, he touched upon his arc and comic story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I used to work for a company which has the license for DC and Marvel. Okay. So I was uh, basically it was a Time Warner company, right? And I was in Bangalore that time. Uh-huh. So we had uh, all the superhero properties, and we had comics and T-shirts and right. stuff. So I know Rohan's sister, okay. cousin's sister. Okay. And she said, "You know what? My kid brother starting a comic company. So uh-huh. can you just talk some sense into him?" And okay. I said, "If he's gone, it's it's cool. Let him do this stuff." Yeah. So that time I met him, uh-huh. and he was doing all these things. And it was very cool. Like custom mm-hmm. comics and things like that. That's when I first met. Yeah, they put someone's face, face the yeah, buyer's yeah, face, yeah. right? So yeah. it was very cool. So then I met him first time in Mahasaya, and then okay. we've been friends ever since. Okay. And you know how he is, he's a serial entrepreneur. So we keep yeah. bouncing ideas of each yeah, other. Like, like, this I might give me more money. Yeah. Yeah. So even for Esper Pop, he yeah. said, we're launching this one. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. So that's how I know him. Okay. So it's been like how long? 2004, 2005. So, were you in college at that time? No, no. So, I am 39 now. Okay. So I oh, pa- dude, you don't look 39. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so, I, I moved to Bangalore in 2005. Huh. And uh, I didn't have a job. My okay. wife, I was married. Okay. So, she had a job. I think, let's figure out a new city. Oh, what a so life. <laughs> 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 that time. So, we moved and I knew that... So Bangalore, this is Bangalore. This is Bangalore. Right. And there used to be this one company called Gotham Comics. Gotham. Right. Oh, G-O-T-H-M. Oh, the Batman. Yeah, yeah. Gotham. And we used to get in Pune. It was uh-huh. only in the metro. We used to get these superhero comics. Like right. X-Men and stuff. Like yeah. So I used to tell my uh, newspaper, well, okay, uh-huh. every time it comes, I'll give you 200 bucks. Just give me whatever stuff. Is right. There. So there used to be an address on that. Okay. Saying Lady Cousin Road, Bangalore. Uh-huh. And an email ID. Okay. So I moved there and, and I'm also a sneakerhead. So okay. the, the only two companies I wanted to work for. Right. I, either I'm going to work for Nike uh-huh. or I'm going to work for Gotham. Right. And I still love the Air <laughs> Jordan, the retro ones. Yeah, I, super, the, the, yeah. super. I, I still don't own them. They're fucking expensive. <laughs> very, very expensive. <laughs> but one day. <laughs> yeah. And then Nike didn't reply. Okay. So maybe obviously, obviously. profile. <laughs> so it's not Nike. Nike. <laughs> and it's Nike. Yeah. And they were just doing sales and marketing and there's not, you know, too much happening that time. Right. And they were passionate about cricket and all this stuff. Hmm. So that's where the money was, right? Still, still is. Yeah, still still is, is. Yeah. So I wrote to this guy hmm. and I said, you know, I love your comics and everything. So do you have a job? Hmm. Without expecting anything yeah, to yeah. come in. And then I got a job with Motorola at that time. Okay. Motorola, the cellular company. Cellular company. Okay. They had a small office in Bangalore. Okay. But then this guy replied, saying, why do you come and meet me tomorrow? Yeah. I said, fuck Motorola, yeah. dude, I'm going to... <laughs> So I walk in, this guy wearing a Superman t-shirt, and I'm like, shit. This Rowan. Is, no, not Rowan. Like, so this is someone in Bangalore. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. So some other guy, like right, just right. some random uh-huh. person who's working Gotham there. Gotham Gotham, Gotham, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, shit, like, you know, I'm home kind of yeah. thing. So I met this guy, and first, Super cool. he's like, so what have you done? Hmm. So I've done marketing, symbiosis, huh. we gave Rose Spiel. Yeah. We're like, fuck all that. We're like, we have a warehouse yeah. full of comic books. Right. So do you know which superheroes are DC and which are Marvel? Well, of course. Yeah. Like, sort it out for me. Okay. And I'll hire you, you sort uh, it out for me, and let's figure it out. Yeah. So that's how I started. So nice. The next five years, it was like a, you know, you know. You know, that's what most of the people, creative people who <laughs> yeah. are into comics and action heroes, they, it's like a dream for yeah, them. This insane. Way. You've yeah. lived it. You've yeah, lived it. Yeah, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah. And so it was so much fun. So it was the warehouse was outside of Bangalore. Yeah. So you went there, and it was actually like, okay. just a massive warehouse of comics. Right. I mean, shit. And not, nothing was kept organized. Okay. So for the first one month, you know, got some guys, mm. organized it, and gave an inventory, and I'm saying, like, right. this is super cool. Yeah. Because now let's talk about marketing. Yeah. You know, let's figure out how yeah. to do it. And at the same time, there was a studio there. Uh-huh. So we had about 70, 80 artists working in that studio. Okay. Are we talking designers? Yeah, like illustrators. Illustrators. And colors, uh, content, inkers whatever. and, you know, colorists and all these guys. All those who make comics. Yes. Again. Yeah. And uh, that was called Gotham Studios Asia. Okay. And they were doing a lot of work for Marvel, etc. Right. 
and it was in the same uh, sort of vicinity okay. but i didn't know so i went and shit this is like something else yeah. so i made a lot of friends there uh-huh. and that's how the so the next 5 years all you know superheroes and yeah. this and selling jla stuff and doing x men stuff so where did ideas go <laughs> come into yeah so what happened is my wife was working for yahoo at that okay. time so she said hey, is yahoo a thing anymore no but that time it was no, it was no, thing as in i know it's not popular anymore <laughs> yeah. but do, does it's it even function now around? yeah it's still around who goes to yahoo and so there's a yahoo finance is quite strong so people okay. who are, you know into the stock market All and right. stuff like that and the sports it's essentially in india it's a zero yeah and they they lost out on the first move advantage like yeah. i they, have i have a feeling so have you heard about these uh Uh, um, you must have read the blogs or articles where they say duck duck go, use duck yeah, duck, yeah, duck, duck go. Go, yeah. i somehow think that it's yahoo yeah yahoo yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do some yeah i hope they do because okay. they were everywhere yeah once upon a time i mean yahoo I mean, was a thing before and, and everything yeah i still remember y- ysm yeah asm yeah. please so the library had also yahoo messages yes. just to chat yes yes who will fuck them over yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then she was working for yahoo and she got a chance to work in bombay okay Yeah, okay, let's go to Bombay. Yeah. yeah. So and then we moved to Bombay. Right. And then, so I had left my job then. Yeah. And again, I was like, okay, we we'll last one. Let you know, let's do something. Yeah. And that time, I was consulting Disney, a couple of these studios for their comic book projects right. and things like that. So they said, and then handing over the work to freelancers. Uh-huh. So they said, you know, why the hell are you giving it to freelancers? Why don't you just start a studio? Right. So that's a good idea. Uh-huh. So then we started Idea School. Okay. At uh, that time, it was called Division Ninety One. Division ninety yeah. one. Okay. And uh, so that's how it started. Why, why did you call it Division ninety one? So it was division, like you know. So it was. I had a co-founder. Okay. And he was a creative guy. Uh-huh. And he said, you know, ninety one is for the country, obviously. Okay. And the big plans were having division ninety one, having division sixty five in Singapore. Right. So basically, like an elite. But but ninety uh, one for country. Country code, no. Nah. Nine one. Nine one. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, right. Uh-huh. Okay. I was like, is there a historic <laughs> event in the year nineteen? <laughs> that i'm missing no, no, just okay the okay and uh, so we started a studio we started a small mm. and that was so we again started making a lot of comics right we doing a lot of storyboarding work this was your own stuff yeah, it's idea scope was creating yeah. their own comics a little bit we okay. were doing a little ip work okay and then we met like luckily uh, that time uh, yashashans right they wanted to start a comic book uh, company mm. and it was called yomics Biomics, yeah. okay. Uh, not just for kids. Then Uday Chopra was very involved in it. Okay. Uday Chopra is the Doom guy. The Doom guy, yeah, right? And very, very smart guy. Yeah. Very he angry. looks like. Yeah. I, I, I'm like he's. He was not a bad actor as well. I used to like his acting. He's exactly opposite how he is in Doom. Okay. Like, you know how he's in like uh, in Doom. He's like right, right, right. happy go lucky. Uh, so. Yeah, exactly. But he's a big uh, comic book fan. Okay. And uh, he's he's a fan boy. Mm. Like, you know, like most of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And very very uh, you know articulate. He knows exactly what he wants. Right. And so I we met him. He looks him. like a shrewd businessman. He's he's yeah. extremely yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So we met him, yeah. and he said, "I you know I want to start something in on the lines of what Marvel is doing, hmm. because you have and but we are doing it ultra because right. they have a film library. Huh. Can we just branch out into comics? And right. Marvel obviously ultra. They have a huh. comic library and they're doing films. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we said this is cool, yeah. So and there's a whole bunch so of characters. What films were we so talking Doom, about? So Doom, Ekta Tiger. Doom ka comics. Comics. Yeah. Okay. Ekta Tiger was there. Mm. Uh, we did something for Rocket Singh, like a small, okay. yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. funny thing. So we were working on that, but they got Singham would have done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had a whole bunch of, and Ekta Tiger came out. So right. these comics got released. Uh. Unfortunately, the distribution screwed them up. Okay. So they tied up with a publisher who was not very strong in distribution. Right. And they got screwed. Right. And you know how it is. That's how art dies, man. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, <Sorry>. yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, what happened is it doesn't reach the people. Hmm. So, if it will see, then it will be That is the bottom exactly, line. Exactly. If it doesn't see, then it will be just publicity. It will be to the right audience. Exactly. Yeah. Most of us, I'll be honest, we'll be like, ah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And, you know, but there are people. So, there, so, so wherever it was sent, it sold out. Right. You know, like especially maybe not in big cities, but right. it sold out because people are like, sure, what is this? Uh-huh. And the first story was about ninjas, and basically it is about nothing to do with the movie. I know, I'm sure it's just the lead just, that you've yeah. taken, and then he fights the yeah. so criminals, both of different them, creative. Yeah, 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 yeah I He had like seven stories lined up. Uh-huh. And then eventually they said, you know what, it's not working out. Neither. Right. Tell me something. Well, so, uh, you know, for us, uh, when we are on the receiving end, right, right, we get the comics. We are like fanboys, you know, right. and we, we we are crazy about it. We live in the fantasy right. world. How is it working with such companies? Is it like any other job, <laughs> you know, that sucks or no? So in fact, you know, so when I started my company, right. uh, 
my mandate for all my illustrators was if you're not having fun right you need to come to me and tell me ki boss we are not having fun okay you get out of bed and you say oh fuck i need to go to work yeah you know vishesh is going to give me a fucking deadline yeah then we have a problem because right. we are in, you are you know i i can draw a little bit but right. you guys are drawing stuff right exactly that's, that's your passion exactly so if you don't want to draw you know a particular thing or whatever right. just have this conversation because i don't want to it reflects na if right. a guy is really loving what he's doing or she is doing then just do some superb stuff right so that was my mandate so if you guys are not having fun mere ko bolo we'll figure you it out you need your workers in that yeah. mental yeah. zone you need right? it and you know how kids are yeah? some kids are like because i've seen i've lived <laughs> that uh, you know the galat side uska because I was a writer. Writers की लगती है most of the time. So, you know, when because they have to do more technical Absolutely, stuff rather yeah. than you know designers or sketch people. Yeah. So when I entered this firm, right? So I could see new people coming with that excitement that oh, graphic design. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they, we are designers. We are designers. Right, right, But right. when they get the work, right? I'm like, let me let's make this. Yeah, right. And the same thing is that every year, every year, every year, every year. So you need to know where yeah, you're getting. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And so you know, like. there's this one fine line i said you know what it's very simple we are creative right but it's a business hmm theek hai so i understand you not liking to draw say a particular actor's face 50 times in that bloody count right i understand hmm because it's not very exciting yeah but let's make it exciting okay so let's do a top angle shot if he's you know doing yes. uzi yeah use your bloody imagination so you know exciting. yeah like you know, <laughs> do a thing you know right. do a nice over the shoulder shot and right So that is all up to you because right. then I'll sell you it. Give to, them the freedom, right? Yeah, not like I, I said, I will sell the hell out of it to the client. Right. This is what is needed. Nice, you know. So I'll back my guys, but you don't come up saying I'm going to just you know piece me the shit and then yeah. I'll be in a trouble. So that is the kind I'm of. I'm having thing. these images of your <laughs> office right now. Yeah, right? it is really fun. <laughs> and in fact, so it was hard to get people. Also. Right. The first guy I called, he was in Bangalore. I called him, he came. and we just started off making character designs uh-huh. there's one store called avengers in bombay avengers uh, it's in called hill road it okay. used to be called okay and there was this one kid working there uh-huh. so i said and he was sketch uh-huh. i said can you do that for a living you know yeah i'll let you bridge so that's how i found guys because poaching yeah because you, see i knew i know a lot of very very talented artists right. and i just i know that i can't afford them yeah and those guys are like on a totally different level uh-huh. so all the guys who i knew in bangalore right. Many of them are working for Marvel. They're doing yeah. fabulous stuff. So uh-huh. those guys, you just see them work and be like, you know, boss, this is awesome. So are you saying that Marvel DC comics, who are they? Are they designing here? There are a couple of artists who uh-huh. work for, like, there's a guy called Mukesh Singh. Right. Phenomenal. If you get a chance, just to check Mukesh? it out. Mukesh Singh. Singh. Okay. Phenomenal artist. Right. Like, amazing. Huh? And right. now he's working for, for Marvel. Uh, hmm. I mean, he does a lot of Hulk comics and right. stuff like that. There's so Abhishek, he's sketching. Yeah. The, okay. There's Abhishek Singh, who's okay. in extreme. You are, if you're into mythology, you should check out his stuff. All right. Brilliant stuff. Uh huh. Nice. Uh, then there, you know, so a bunch of these guys. So right. they they are on a different level. So okay. I think he, उनको तो पूछना भी नहीं चाहिए कि यार इधर चार्ज बॉम्ब है. Yeah. And just so I said, let's figure out now. जो करेंगे वो बिकी बेचेंगे. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's so it's it's fun. I mean, you know, it's. But then at the same time you have to work with the bank so right. to because wo bhi karna chahiye that money also has to come in okay. as, a, as a business right. you have to figure out where you're going to get your yeah, profits yeah, from and all that yeah. so funny story as I was going for a meeting and I was reading a uh, 100 bullets comic book 100 bullets yeah it's a vertical title okay uh, and and what about that this gentleman sitting next to me like comics kon padhta hai aaj ka like padhne wale padhte hai yaar and so we started talking and right. it turned out to be from kotak like the head of marketing okay So he said, the bank, Kotak Mahindra. Kotak Mahindra Bank. Uh-huh. And he said, you know what? Uh, all my kids are getting younger, uh-huh. and annual report to koi padha nahi. Right. So can we do something exciting? Huh. I said that's that's a great thing. So we said, okay, let's give you a, a small comic book hmm. which goes with your annual report. Hmm. Give me the ten figures you want your guys to know. Okay. Your market cap, number of locations, whatever it is. Right. Ten basic figures. Just let me know. Huh. And the five six characters in your company who everyone knows, admires, makes right, fun of, right, whatever. Right, right, right. Ah, nice. So we built it into a thing. A strip. Yeah, like a proper comic book. Right, right. Where this one guy, he, okay, he's taken out of college, ah. state, he is hired into Kotak. Right. But Kotak is not what it seems. It's actually a counter operative terrorism. We made a oh, like, like an acronym. Like a, yeah, <laughs> acronym. And wherever the branches are, there's a black ops side behind. Uh-huh. So you know, we made very interesting. <laughs> nice. 
and everybody loved it. Right. So he's like, this is the kind of shit that yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm, so it's just, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. And office quota people looking at that. Yeah. So it, only it, the quota people. They know it. that the job sucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, talents hell. Yeah. But then all like, oh, so I'm, I'm this, yeah, I'm this guy. guy, I'm this guy. So it becomes fun. Pretty cool. <laughs> how 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 did martial arts happen then? Oh, so. Uh, so, so I, you are 39 right now. When did it happen? First question. So I started learning when I was maybe 11 years old. Okay, what were you learning? I was learning Taekwondo. Taekwondo. So back in the day, there used to be this concept called ground. I'm not sure if you know. So in uh, law college. Hmm. You've done law? No, no, no. Okay. Law college ground. Yeah, I was like, bro. <laughs> then law. Too much study, bro. <laughs> it's not. not like, trust me. <laughs> trust me, it's not. I mean, but... If you outside the perception of this too much if, if you want to be a lawyer, yes. <laughs> yeah. I wanted a college and a degree. <laughs> so, no. But yeah. So, when we were kids, there was a thing called ground. I don't know what it was officially called, but all the kids used to call it ground. Okay. Uh, you go there and they give you this sort of uniform, white t-shirt, blue shorts. Okay. And kids just play. So, there's this... Not thing. in schools or anything? No, no, no. So, after school... They're called ground. Yeah, ground. So, you go there, but it's yeah. like there are people who are organizing it. Okay. So they'll put you in line, they'll do their slokas and all that in the, mo- right. in the evening. Okay. But they'll make you play kabaddi. They'll, you know, oh, like a community uh, park. Yeah, and it was super. There used to be hundreds okay. of kids. And we're talking Pune? Pune. Okay. And it was lovely. So right. my parents used to take my sister and me there to Law College Road, uh, okay. Law College Ground. There used to be this thing happening there. So after maybe a couple of months, I saw that there was a taekwondo class also happening. Okay. Actually, my dad. And my dad used to be a boxer. Oh, nice. So he said, you know, forget this. You go for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go for that. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. And that time was, you know, so on the ground, we saw yeah. no mats, nothing. We I the I've seen, I've yeah. seen karate classes. And, and that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're running around. One teacher and yeah. there's yeah. kids in white. White, yeah, 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 and then they... so That's when I joined. Right. And it was super, right? It, you know, really helped. Hmm. So I used to, I did for about six years throughout. Uh, I used to play football okay. for school that time. Right. And then when I was 15, 16, uh, I stopped. Girls. Because, no girls. Like, frankly, oh shit, <laughs> like, you can talk to them. <laughs> Actually, you chill I with them. All boys you, so imagine. Oh yeah. <laughs> the first level thing is you grow your hair. All that shit happens. I had an afro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big one. But you can I, I'm, rock the afro. I, I, I used to, but now, you know, it's like, now it's like both. Ho gaya. <laughs> but earlier, at that time, you know, I am surprised my father was a cop, right? Yeah. So, I, and a strict one, a strict, not a strict father, but a strict Sick cop, up, yeah, strict yeah. cop. So we were always like, "Yeah, you too, boy." But I was like growing this jar on my head. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Mere ghar mein jab tak discard kyun nahi kiya abhi tak?" I swear, I mean, yeah. no father would say, "Mera." Yeah, but probably let, he said, "You know, let him give, him, give him that curve, and he'll probably figure it out." Uh, it so, worked yeah. somehow. No, it, it definitely. So yeah, ground. Ha. Huh. So, so I joined, and mm. this teacher he was a Manipuri guy, and uh, it was super. So he. I started learning there, and obviously, when you every day was after yellow after yellow belt is every day sparring, right? And uh, exams and all that stuff. So I was seriously into it. Right. Then it dropped off. And then okay. about fifteen, I went to the states once. My cousins were there. Right. And I saw Michael Jordan play. I'm like, mm. this is what I want to do, man. This is just insane. Oh, so you should do basketball. I should do basketball. Oh, nice. And I've been playing ever since. You still play? I still play. Oh, nice. Like once a week at least. That's one game that I'm not good at. Like even like you know. <laughs> Thoda sa bhi, I suck at that. But it's hustle, Plus, dude. Yeah. It's, it's like, I'm sure, yeah. like any other sport. Yeah, like any other just, sport. But it's super. I was half court, I was like, 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 I stopped playing football also, right. but played football, basketball in college. So, right. martial arts sort of took a back seat. Right. And then, you know, just life happens, and you're not really that focused that you're going to do your stuff. Exactly. And all exactly. Right. No, especially not in the early 20s. Correct. Like, because, and you take your body for granted, you're like, you know, yeah, yeah, you happy. eat shit, man. Eat shit. And 25, 26, you get the punch, right? You get the punch, right? I'm like, behave. <laughs> exactly. So, in the last few years, then I was like, you know what? Let me just get back to it. Yeah. You know, just, uh, and what happened is, obviously, the UFC is uh, right. you know, all this exposure. And like, shit, man, this was, this was superb. UFC is a big eye opener. I mean, it's, it's like, like massive, phenomenal, man, massive. Phenomenal. It's like just shows, it has shows the what world. a person can do yes. and be. It's just, and, and in a way, I know it's. Uh, I mean, but people have died while riding motorbikes, yeah. while playing cricket as well. So, though it's a dangerous okay, sport. Okay. And I read something really cool about it. Uh, you know, these Instagram posts. But that really connected. It said, uh, did I read it on your page, MMA Syndicate India? Or I, I don't remember. But I read it somewhere and uh, he was like, 
you tell people that i play football i play basketball but you never say that i play I mma correct you it's because true. it's, it's not, not a game, game yeah. it's not a game i was like fuck <laughs> yeah bro that makes sense so, so on uh, we're talking about states you were in states and yeah basketball. so i came I, i watched you know my lord play and yeah. he, he had just retired the first time so mm. i'm like oh shit this is amazing so i started playing basketball Did you have a 23 jersey of course yeah and i have 45 so i don't know for <laughs> i'm i'm not i'm not in tune with basketball what is 45 so he had changed his number when he came back to okay. lord he right. like 45 number jersey oh, he didn't right. really work for him but okay. so he went back to 23 right but uh, yeah so then ever since i was so i was and turned out i was pretty decent at it so okay nice played in college and you know the state level and all that stuff happened and then basketball is you know one of those things that you get together and you know you have that yeah, time yeah. to yourself so every saturday morning sunday morning you go to bowling go right. for breakfast right. come home so it's like a nice uh, <laughs> thing so basketball was on uh-huh. the same time so first time i saw ufc was this uh, program called ultimate fight Yeah, the first season was shown on TV in India. Okay, on Sony or one of those. Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey were the. Yeah, that was the second season. That was the second season. one. Yeah, this okay. was first was Chuck Liddell and. Uh, I haven't seen that. So, I started from uh, uh-huh. Misha. And, Misha and yeah, Ronda. So that was Chuck Liddell and after this guy. Yeah. Hughes, Shit. Matt Hughes. No. no, no, the guy was in all the movies now. Shit, I'm forgetting his. It'll come. Okay. So yeah. that season, I'm like, shit, man, like. Obviously, I knew a little bit about GSP. No, 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 GSP. Another ba- ball guy. Yeah, pen, yeah, yeah. pen, pen, pen. BJ Pen. No, not BJ Pen. Oh fuck! Forget. Yeah. Shit. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let, 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 let me. <laughs> so uh, we knew about UFC, right. but not like so much. At that time, I had this idea that it's very brutal because you see bloody faces Absolutely, and all. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I was watching it. I'm like, dude, this is at least let me start getting you know punching the bag again. So I yeah. had a bag at home, so I put back up, you know, and nice, started nice, doing all nice, that stuff. Nice. And then ever since again, थोड़ा सा you lost time. Then you uh-huh. moved moved to Bombay. Bombay, you know, our houses are the small houses. Yeah, you yeah. Don't really get time. But in Bombay, I went to a couple you of places. You punch a bag, you might. Yeah, end up. punch a <laughs> bag. Yes. <laughs> But uh, we found a couple of you know classes in Bombay. Uh-huh. When they didn't really enjoy it, they were very clannish over there for whatever reason. Okay. So like you know we not but I'm 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 surprised that they were clannish. I mean clannish again you know we'll not teach you some stuff. I know I know yeah. Like, how <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Like, okay, <laughs> if I'm throwing a punch around, tell me I'm throwing right. a punch. Right. So all that happened, and uh, we again we moved back to Pune. Right. And I have a kid. She's uh, she'll become eight uh, in a couple of Sweet. months. So uh, there was this one maybe two years ago, two and a half years ago, a Krav Maga class for okay. children okay. and ladies. Right. So I close by. So I said, "Let me go and check, see yeah. what the hell is there." Right. And rolled in it. And the guy, like I could know, I I could feel that he knows exactly what he's doing, you know. Right. The crap on the guy. Right. But he couldn't teach for shit. Okay. Especially kids. Right. So, so he he was a good martial artist, but he wasn't a good teacher. Okay. And he couldn't translate his knowledge right, right, in right. a way which is accessible to a little kid. So basically, every he's like, "Okay, come and punch now." Right. And so the first kid is like punching like this, right? Okay. So she yeah, yeah. comes inside. The, uh, One girl rolled her wrist. Right. I'm like, you've just essentially eliminated the entire generation from martial arts. <laughs> yeah. Because if their first They're experience not really is, again, yeah. is, you know, I'm getting hurt. Yeah. It's like, and I was like, true, the true. entire hour I was there, I was like seething, and my wife is like, can you just stop it? <laughs> I'm like, what are you teaching wrong stuff? <laughs> yeah. You know, so I said, I need to do something about mm. this. So. Luckily, yeah, you know now in a position where, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, let's just figure out because with with MMA, it's so. I mean, with Taekwondo, like mm. you obviously you learn the kicks and stuff, right? right. But you can't do a leg kick. It's stupid, right? You can't kick a guy under the belt. Yeah, exactly. So it's always waste above, right? It's always waste yeah. above. You can't punch a guy in the face. Yeah. Right, but I've never seen uh, anyone punching in taekwondo as well. So you can just do a little punch. Okay, like you know when you get close, that's a score. That's, that's a score? score. Yeah. If you get the white yeah, if you get the right, that's it. So there's um, no like oh, okay yeah. punch like that. And face, of course, is face our, our, our okay, right. So I said, you know, let's let's do something hmm. wherein at least okay. I, obviously, I have a limitation of teaching or whatever because right. my knowledge may be rusty now or whatever. Let's get people together, hmm. good good teachers. Nice. Figure out how to. Tell these guys, and no one, everybody need not be a black belt. You know, yeah. there are some people who get into the motivation. I want to learn everything, and okay. I want to be the black belt. Some people who want, to, I just want to get into the fitness, right. which is what MMA is all about, right? You right. don't need to be a black belt in everything. You mm. can spend twenty years learning it, right? Of course, that's better if someone's black belt. Correct. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if yeah. it, by the end of your career, maybe like a lot of guys get black belts when they're still fighting, and you know, in jiu-jitsu and yeah, stuff. Yeah. 
but you have one base. We have to talk about jiu-jitsu though, later. Absolutely. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. So which is what the whole idea was. Like yeah. I'm like you know let these. My first thing was let the kids learn proper, hmm. proper. Hmm. Yeah. At least I'll throw a bloody punch. Right. You know, it's and the most basic thing. Yeah, you know, exactly. Throw a punch. Hmm. Not like you go, go and just hit somebody, but at least be able to defend yourself. That's right. it. And have that respect. You know how martial arts are. You ball yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. You have that entire thing. You have your family. You sort of work out together. Exactly. Which is where MMA syndicate was born. Oh, right. Nice. So, I said, then people started coming, you know, connecting, saying, you know, I can teach Kapuera. Okay. I can do this. And I said, you know, let's, let's do this seriously. Let's see. Right. Let's at least roll the dice. Right. Worst case, it will not work. Yeah, that's the only thing. And you know, there, yeah. what's going to happen? Yeah. Best Fuck case, it, you move yeah, on. Yeah, move on. Yeah. <laughs> Best case, something will happen. Yeah. So, that's how... That's where we are right now. So yeah, it's, it's good. So 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 I want to know more about MMA syndicate. Yeah, <laughs> like the, I mean, yeah, it's because I I I was never into martial arts. Into as in I never learned it. Right, right. I never went to a martial arts class. I was always into other kind of sports. Like I was into my parents put me in gymnastics when I was a kid. Oh, but gymnastics is super uh, foundation for martial. Arts. Yes. Yeah. It, oh, for 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 most yeah, of the for sports, most of, for yeah, most yeah. of the sports because it. it you're not lifting weights, but right. you still get that Absolutely. agility and strength. And the balance and everything. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I have noticed that even, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a very lean guy compared to people who are. Right, right. So my height and people, I have noticed that when in the gym, I can lift as much. I'm not at par, but right. those big guys, right? I'm, I'm, at, I'm, the, I'm not big at size, right, but right. I'm there when right, I'm right. lifting strength or something. In terms, yes, of, yeah. in terms of strength, right. especially in terms of endurance, right. more, more endurance than strength. True, true. Cardiovascular activities, yeah, I, yeah. I kill them. I'm like, fuck right. you, bro, you're nothing. <laughs> I just get cocky sometimes. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, that was gymnastics and then I shifted to TT and then I started playing squash, football, blah, blah, blah. Right, right. But that was for fun. Uh, earlier, we used to go to a stadium where coach used to, you oh, know, nice, to crash us as well if right. we were careless. Or Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, that. us time, we were scared. We thought that we would kill ourselves. But now, I'm like, that was required. Was like, that was required. Was like, that was required. Was like, we were Absolutely. careless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those were the sports. But I always enjoyed Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee. Oh. I was mad. I used to get, the day we got the CD, CD player, not yeah. the VHS, the CD player, right? Not even DVD, CD. Correct. The VCD one. Yeah, VCD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, one movie, two or three, two or three, like I used to, and at that time, piracy was very high. Very high. I used to love it. I used to love it. Now I'm an artist and I feel like, fuck, I should not be like that. Yeah, but at that time, what would happen? Yeah, it would go. I used to, so... Uh, there was this so my father was posted somewhere so us area mein ek shop wala tha Achha. so he had this need to oblige to my father because my father was a copywriter and correct. my father used to tell me ki never, never do that take. ever again <laughs> ever ever he wasn't talking about that guy he sure. was, that, Literally, huh. those were the things that we learned right ki True. never take favors or never take free stuff correct, but that guy, little, little, <laughs> I used to get itna <laughs> sara chori <laughs> chori lake and lifafa bharke and most of them were Mira wo phase like seventh eighth ka hoga, seventh eighth class. Right. I have seen every single Jackie Chan movie wow. us time pe, Purana, from Fearless High Nut, everything. Right. everything. I, I, I was yeah, Bahar Garden mein, I was the drunken master. <laughs> I used to do that. I should yes. live that thing. And then Bruce Lee came. First yeah. I was Jackie Chan, right. and then right. it was Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee hardly has any movie. Right. Like two or three hardly, good yeah. movies. True. Saw so all those. I lost my shit. I was like, dude, this is what I have to do. I have to do something. And I was deep into table tennis and oh. all. Like, I was playing for the state and all. Right, right, right. Wasn't that good, but I was still playing for the state. I was okay in my state. I was like, 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 I uh, we were playing the sport TT gymnastics because we had to play a sport. Okay. Parents said ke hona, and we were like, Haan, hai, khaa pi rahe there was no connection, you know, that soul connection right, right, that you right. get. Ki, Haan, jasa, martial arts. Ab ja ke, last year, huh. for the first time in my life, I took a class. Oh, nice. I took a class and it wasn't just, you know, a stupid for fitness right, class. Right, right. So th- th- I'm sure you know, I, I don't know, uh, Dhruv Chaudhary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so Dhruv, I joined him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I joined Dhruv. He has a radical way of teaching martial arts, right? Yeah. Because he will he's tell you, good, yeah, yeah he, he won't just tell you, ki, okay, we're going to practice punches and all. Tell he it. said that I'm going to slap you yeah. and you're not going to do anything. You're going to take the slap. I was like, fuck, I'm Jammu, I'm going to kill the police. I'm going to kill the police. I'm going to kill the police. But then he was like, listen, I'm not forcing you to, but that's my way because we are learning how to fight. fight. We are not learning to play sports, to do fitness apps. Ka hi He's very clear with true, that. True. He's like, 
and you know that's where i realized that if you get punched right if you someone comes in a martial art class and right. tells you i'm going to punch, punch your gut so you tighten it aap bada macho ban ke aise karke kar loge but the thappad wali baat hai you like nahi besti hoti because it has that sting right yeah i was like and then it changes your perspective True. I was like, okay, let's do this. I did not expect him to go yeah, that actually, hard. Yeah, up. Yeah, he used his fucking hip <laughs> in that slap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, and I was looking at him. And I was just, I was like, bad me when I was in class. I was like, bro, I wanted to kill you. I wanted to kill you. And he was laughing. He was like, always like, gentle, yeah, calm, yeah. like bowl, right? so that's when I realized that it's kind of a meditation and no, you absolutely. train yourself. You have to get into that zone. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time yeah, and the trainer's yeah. time. True, true. So that's why I'm really. I have told you we haven't had this conversation yeah. before, but I'm deeply connected to martial arts. That's why I really want to know more about MMA scene. Yeah. That what is your plan? Like, like let's talk yeah. about it. So the plan is to essentially have anyone who wants to pursue martial arts, hmm. as a, maybe as a serious thing, right, or as a fitness thing or whatever, right. It's a, there's a place for everyone, right. So the plan is to have one center. We are working on it right now in KP. Oh, perfect. Where, uh, uh, bro, I'm gonna join it. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna join. <laughs> I, I want to. Wherein you know we have people and martial arts is like the great equalizer, right? People right. from everywhere come and yeah, there's age, no there's no age where you can learn at any time. Obviously, there's some restriction of movements you can do, but yeah. you can always learn things like that. Yeah, old, young girls, guys, whatever. Absolutely. whatever. And now you know MMA is really taking off from in India. Well, like, I, I can see it that it is I going, and this is a great thing. Like in 2012, uh, Raj Kundra launched Super Fight League. Super Fight League, yes. Yeah, with Sanjay Dutt. <clears throat> right, right, right. So if you see one of uh, the earlier fights, you're like, you know, dude, there's no technique here. You know what? I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Was it the same one where a lot of uh, uh, fighters from Northeast were participating? Yeah, Northeast. YouTube pe videos. Haan, even, even a lot of local guys like from Maharashtra, Delhi were fighting. Right. Uh, but there was no technique. Because obviously, you know, you come from different backgrounds and there's no coaching really happening. And if a guy yeah. gets taken to the ground, right. nine times or no ten, ground usko, usko, uh, rare naked choke mein, he's gone. Okay. You know, there's no defense happening. Right. There, there's no ruling. Right, 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 right. But the, from then, now it is 2019. And yeah. now there are so many different, different uh, MMA gyms in Bombay, in Delhi. Uh, I know what, the Greece. famous one uh, by Tiger Shirov. Yeah, MC. Matrix. Matrix, yeah. Super, yeah. Yeah, what a gym it is. And they're really dedicated and... Uh, and they're having tournaments. And you're doing... Uh, are you working on the same line? Yes. Yeah, so eventually Perfect. I'll have... You know, I would want fighters to go and participate in tournaments. Right. Uh, there are a lot of grappling tournaments that happen. So you have, you know, guys from your gym go participate. Right. Uh, Dubai. There's always... There's one now which is yeah. one championship. Someone representing in Singapore. MMA syndicate India. Yeah. Be Why so not? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. It blows yeah. my mind, man. Insane. Yeah, insane. So... And then what has also happened is a lot of fighters, you know, who've learned, say, karate. And, I mean, Pune has always had a lot of martial art uh, schools. Right. So, there's the uh, local used to be one. There are a lot of, on the other side of town, okay. and many, which are still there. Right. You see, you still see a random kid wearing a, you know, purple belt and walking around. Uh-huh. So, I asked, where is the Where is the I what the fuck, get away. Right. You know, but, but it's, so, that, that thing has always been there. So, yeah. my thing is, that is one discipline. Hmm. But there's never been any, any MMA uh, focused gym or performance center or school, whatever you want to call it, in Pune so far. Mm-hmm. And uh, the more the merrier, yeah, the, you know, it's always better. Yeah. So that is the whole idea. And now yeah. you have guys like Jiu Jitsu, mm-hmm. you know, who, no one knew what Jiu Jitsu was until the UFC came out. Yeah. No one knew. Yeah. I didn't know. You know, you yeah. knew Judo. Yeah. But. Uh, that is like some other level of you know that fucking mental and yeah, physical. It's chess, I mean, chess on, on a, a different, different level. level. Yeah, like yeah, you can yeah. fucking get you get ripped apart and you'll be like, dude, how do you do this? And so, and, and, and uh, <laughs> if you see the, the, the videos on Insta stuff, yeah, Brazil and countries like Brazil, especially uh, even states, right? Yeah. And now everyone is training jiu jitsu. And they're like, no one is letting anyone pick their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> pick pocket <laughs> 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 choke <laughs> like, they're like, you know, they're kicking butt, man. The, the, and that's, the, that's an amazing thing. I was uh, watching, or I was reading somewhere, saying right. a lot of these introvert guys and mm-hmm. girls who essentially were not maybe good at sport or whatever are turning to jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Because, you know, it's basically about body movement you, right. know, you can be a certain weight but right. then you need to know the technique and you're always improving always improving always. You know, there's no there's no regression in it you you meet a better player and Absolutely. then exactly so, that's why I, I, I really if, if MMA syndicate yeah, starts yeah. Jiu Jitsu I would no, I, that is the biggest challenge to find someone who is a good BJJ teacher yeah, because you are unfortunately there are a lot of guys who teach crap right. 
I'm and sure. <laughs> that might, you know, end up hurting a guy more than, you yeah, know, helping that person. Right, right. So, you need to know when to really, as a teacher, release that hold. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, that went to, you, you need to respond you know, to the tap. Even if the guy is not tapping, you need to understand that, you know, he's in pain. Like, you know, because some people are like, make it a <laughs> And you should know, ki, hai, it's not about... And, uh, and a, a proper determined choke will take, what, six seconds? Exactly. Right? Yeah, six seconds it. and you're out. And you need to know, ki, I don't need to choke this guy out. Right. It's not a competition, but I'm showing him how to do this shit. Right. You know, there's a difference there. Yeah. And luckily, like, I've had, there was this one guy from the States who had come for about six months, he was an expert here. Have you ever, uh, like, rolled? Yeah, Jiu-Jitsu? he screwed me up every single day. Yeah. So, you know basics. Yeah, basics. Yeah. Awesome. I envy you right yeah. now. So, so I won't first time, he's like, yeah. he's like, so have you done martial arts? I'm like, yeah, cool, let's go. <laughs> like, okay, let's go. Humiliated you. <laughs> I'm sure. Less than two minutes, good. Oh, I'm sure. He got me down. I'm right. like, shit, you know, I thought I had to core strength or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm like... Okay. <laughs> so tell me something. You are rolling with this another guy, right? Yeah. And uh, how does it work? Because jujitsu mainly is on the ground. Right? Yeah. It's it's always on the ground. But you need wrestling to take that forward. Because if let's you say, have a wrestling background, it's always great. Okay. But, but you need to take need the person to, down, correct, right? Yeah. You need to take like the first initial or even so. There's a whole bunch of saying you know when you're on your back, right? If a guy is taking you down, right? There are a whole bunch of moves from there as well where you can. Get I'm sure. Down. I'm sure you you. Uh, but the way you rotate your, you your hips, and, hips yeah, and yeah, exactly. Like, like How you turn yeah, him over. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Where you you exactly. can even be lethal when you're on your on back, your back, right? Absolutely. With your triangle choke right, or something. Absolutely. So, yeah. but wrestling is always like you know if if you see our mythology, right. wrestling is one of the common. Yeah, always been there. It yes, yes. So that is the core. Like if you see guys like Khabib, yeah, that guy is like a beast. <laughs> what, right? what, a a guy, beast. Yeah. what a guy! What a guy! He's grounded in in uh, sambo oh, and yeah. he's done wrestling. He's just. And you know why? Why I think uh, he can, uh, like you know, uh, Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. So of course you know Ronda. So I'm I'm talking about her era. She like twelve zero. Yeah, yeah. record. Yeah. That was, I believe that that was mainly because no one was as good as Ronda in judo. Correct. Right. Correct. So no one had. I think no one is as good as. Khabib in, yeah, wrestling in wrestling right now. Yeah. The, the moment some other wrestler comes into <laughs> yeah. the, so maybe it most likely from Pakistan only some, someone coming. it's quite possible yeah. someone must be getting must motivated be. right it's like Iron Man mein wo Russian ah, guy Russian, watches absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite possible right but you know what I like and Ronda has been one of my favorite for, for, for me she was the one who absolutely. brought UFC to absolutely. limelight absolutely like, yeah. you know, she's a pioneer there's no way and people can always you know criticize or whatever holy destroyed <laughs> <laughs> career she did <laughs> and it's also a very important, you know, I always tell people who I meet, uh, you yeah. know, she's always, she's always be my hero. There's no two ways about mm. it. You know, Rhonda and Chuck Liddell, these guys. Yeah. But it's always important to get that first loss early in your career. I'm sure. You know, because then yeah. how do you deal with that loss, right? right. And for, for Hollywood, she's been boxing and kickboxing for the longest time. The yeah. loss doesn't mean shit to her. Yeah. For this girl, she was like, you know, unbeatable at yeah. one, one point. She's destroying, you know, women. Yeah. And suddenly you lose and at... Losing the how? Yeah. Yeah. So that I have seen that replay a thousand <laughs> times. I've seen the memes. Poor yeah, girl, poor man. Guy. I feel for her. And but, so, yeah. so but it's like that. Like you know, now we see Valentina Shevchenko. She's, she's like a complete martial artist. She's, yeah, she's yeah, yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah. I like her kicks, man. Yeah. And she's more threat, right? She's, yeah, yeah. she's like, got that background. Right. So, so it's, I mean, there's always someone who's training and who's always going to be better. Than yeah. Unless like Khabib, now he's uh, works on his stand up. Right. So he's. Uh, Again, you know, forming his own, I mean, evolving from his... Oh, what do you feel about Connor? Honest, <laughs> honest opinion. See, I like him as a... F- he's brash. You know, yeah. he's one of those characters in the ring. He's superb. Yeah. I just don't like all this extracurricular stuff. <laughs> but it's it's fun. I, I mean, think it, Mayweather was a <laughs> shitty move. Shouldn't have... Uh, I, I, you know, I know people were like, you know, have you seen the size of his hand? hand. I was under and they say, listen, that guy is 49 zero. 49. 40, the greatest boxer ever. You can call yeah, him the greatest yeah. boxer ever. Wo punch nahi leta hai. Wo punch nahi leta hai. It's so like I has I sparred maybe three four months ago with this guy. Okay. And he was not even a state level guy or whatever. Right. He was very humble. He's like, "Yeah, karing is fine." Uh-huh. And I couldn't touch him. Hmm. Like you know, he was so fast when he was right. moving. I'm right. like. Imagine Floyd Mayweather, dude. Like, this guy, like, I can't get yeah. my hands. You, know, you can't wrestle. You, 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 you just have you, to use your, you know, It was striking. your money-making yeah, move. Everyone knows absolutely. that. But why I like Connor <laughs> is that even if he loses, right? Yeah. The way he comes out comes of a out, loss, yeah. right? No, not like coming back. Correct, but, you correct. know, his attitude. Attitude. No, absolutely. He's like, you know, still he'll be like, it was a good fight. No, it wasn't. Yeah. It was a sad fight for Connor. If you have seen the yeah, fight. Yeah, absolutely. That guy was like, playing. Well, I got that one punch. Yeah, yeah. You got that one punch and he was like, yeah, that's fucking Mayweather, bro. 
and then the way Mayweather, and I'm sure Mayweather did not even break a sweat in no, that match. No. Five six round, he was Correct. done with that guy. And eight he, rounds, I guess. Eight yeah. Round. He first two rounds, anyway, he figures out the distance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's he, all he needs. That's that's all he needs. And, he that's goes, yeah. and then he counters. <laughs> So I like see Connor's super. I, yeah. I think you need guys like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Guys who maybe not. I mean, obviously the trash talk is a I, different thing, but it's it's again it's, each person is different. And he wins his game through trash talking. He's, right? he's the thing is he's been successful throughout. Yeah. He's not changed who he is. Yeah. If you see his earlier fights when he was not before the fucking chest tattoo and all. Right. He's the same. Yeah. Fucking I mean, talking trash, you know, flipping the bird, yeah, yeah, yeah. doing all those things. So he's not changed. Right. His level of success has yeah. obviously changed. He's more of a star. He's a know, star. Right? Yeah. So, because I, I she fights more. I, I want to see <laughs> him. But now, I don't know. But he should come back, fight uh, with Nate Diaz, get some money fights and, you know, things like that. I mean, I, that uh, surely needs a decider, right? With, yeah, it, it needs a rubber. Yeah. One, one, one right now. Yeah. yeah. But that was the match where he actually gained my respect. The yeah. second the one. The second one. Came he, that, that was like, yeah. like Conor McGregor. That is the attitude. You know, you come back from a loss. Exactly. And you want to fight the same person who beat you. Like, you know, GSP. He lost yeah. to one guy. Man, sir. Like, fuck that shit. I want to come back and... GSP is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to fight that guy again. You know, yeah. That is the attitude which you need. And so, did you see the promos of Aldo versus McGregor? Yeah. I waited for that match for one year. It got over in 13 seconds. And shit, a confession, I did not even... I was maybe eating something or something and it got because, over. Yeah. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you, you missed the... You saw the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sucks, man. But that guy is amazing, man. Yeah. But what do you feel about Indian fighters right now? Some of them are very good, yeah. Like, I, I've, you know, I've started following like a few. Like Shrikant Shekhar is superb. Oh, I don't know There's this guy called Mangat. Some of the girls are superb. Asha Roka. Asha Roka I started following yeah. because I saw your yeah, account so and I was like, yeah. She's fighting in 1FC now. Like, she'll be doing a fight there. Yeah, I, that's why yeah. I read. Yeah. Looking no, forward so, to yeah. see super. her fight. One. And the good thing is we also are getting some fighters from abroad. There's a guy called Seth Rosario from Colombia. Okay. Who's fighting in India. So, all these guys are, you know, always level. Level up, level up, level up. So because we have that perception that because of the super fight league, correct, correct. We we were, and you know I don't mind because we are we weren't that exposed to correct, absolutely. You know caged fighting yeah. and all. But now we are, and now I see that girl. Her name is Tomer. Yeah. Pooja Tomer. Pooja Tomer. Dude, what a girl, man. The way she comes... Her ground game is amazing. Super, super. I was like, okay, now this Indonesian fighter, Correct. she has taken it down. Correct. But fuck, she, the way she came she back. Came and back. she won... The, uh, yeah, she won the she fight. Won the she, fight. She, she won the fight. It was, it was good. So, also, what is happening is, uh, initially, as a fighter, hmm. like maybe even four or five years back, you don't right. have the right coaches, right? To tell you... Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ground game. Or even as a fighter, like, boss, I'm knocking everyone out uh-huh. with my kicks in my hands. Why do you ground game? Right. Until you get a guy who's, you know... Good at ground. the ground yeah. and boss, you're done. Yeah. So every fighter the is way trying Gracie to, did to yeah, UFC. Man. Yeah, he yeah. changed the he game, changed man. Changed the game. I'm sure. I mean, you imagine like blood sport. Mm-hmm. The movie, the movie. Uh, Van Damme. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially MMA, right? Yeah. 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 Nothing. It's just the same. Like the first UFC. If you look at the first UFC. UFC that was a crazy two, movie. That's the same, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy is bloody fighting in Yusomu Koshu. It was the same. Yeah, Muay Thai guy and this just bulky bulky guys. Yeah. Now it's like become a refined art. So yeah, you see these fighters of today, and you're like, you know, fuck with these guys because it's evolved so much. And right, even the Indian right. guys, you know, right. there's nutrition t- plays a huge part. No one used to care uh, about that. No one used to care about that. Yeah. Where we care what we eat, yeah. Like we didn't know what calorie deficient and all that shit is. Yeah. But now you meet the kids who are 20 year old. They're like, you know what? I'm training here. I'm you know, um, I have a trainer who's t- telling me to do squats. I do stretches after working. Mm. Stretches. <laughs> we never fucking did stretches. Dude. What are stretches? We never did it. Kabhi nahi kya. You know, life mein. No one ever told us to do stretches before and after. Right. So, so all these kids are coming up. Even the fighters I see, they're focused on, you know, there's a little bit of money in the game. Right. That makes a big, it's a big motive. It's important. It's yeah. a big I'm, motive. I'm sure even UFC players, we yeah. see them as star stars. I think very few are making money. Absolutely, money. yeah. Like, you know, you see... Uh, or maybe a John Jones get half a million dollars. Yeah. Other guys are getting 50, 60, which is not too much money. For us, it's a lot. But for them, it's like you know, they have to train, they have to go to fight camp, all that stuff. Sure. Yeah, Similarly, yeah. guys, many of them are working full-time jobs hmm. and they'll train in the part-time or whatever. Right. And so, it's hopefully there's more money, more tournaments, Should more gyms be. coming up. You know, there's more competition. That's the way to do it. And the way you related mythology, right? Yeah. Somehow people have this uh, idea that we, uh, because we are always talking about Muay Thai, we're talking about Jiu Jitsu right. and stuff. When it comes to India, right, 
so uh, people always think about uh, the kerala martial arts yeah. yeah either they talking about that but if you see dangal Uh, not the movie movie but like proper, proper you, yeah the yeah, yeah, kushti yeah. jisko bolte hain jo wo winner ko hanuman ka milta hai gadha milta hai gadha milta hai maine wo live dekha hai wahan pe yeah i've been to we should go to bhuga okay they have a tournament every year this wrestling and it is mind blowing reth pe na jaisa hota hai yeah dangal ne akhada karte hain akhada pe ha we'll go next time we'll go. sure 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 it is fucking mind blowing you could you see these guys are like fuck yeah and dude. it's not they're like ripped or something <laughs> paint with but power yeah, these guys are, these guys are good. <laughs> I, but they play with weight categories right yeah yeah they have different, just no, like, different different weight categories yeah so, and it's very four way four five eight category. and it's the same uh, that uh, uh, you know olympians do on mats it's yeah, the same yeah, thing same. it's the same thing but it's just that it's sand yeah. and it's all lingoda yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's, it's tough, tough it's tough, tough. i would i would love to i would we'll love go, to we'll go. sure <laughs> so our i think and we've had history of like thousand thousand years we've just had wars and warriors right. right so it doesn't make sense that they weren't martial artists Absolutely. if they weren't Absolutely. you know yeah, yeah. fighting so like they say arjun was you know uh, ambidextrous he could okay. shoot from okay. arrows from okay. both okay. hands okay and so obviously bhim was a wrestler right you know and he beat that guy i forget jada santo or whatever okay in 26 days apparently they were fighting right Three other days. That's where mythology gets to my head. I'm like, okay, that's not possible. No, like, you know, if you're but story is still made. Yeah, right? okay, okay. Three ghanta karke chalo forget. Oh, let's, let's try again tomorrow. Right, right, right. So there's a story behind which that guy is just waiting for Amavasya to get his powers and all that stuff. Yeah. So anyway, there's a, yeah. always a backstory. But that is ingrained. So the, I, in fact, know this one archaeologist guy who is studying temples, uh, skills, uh, sculptures. Uh-huh. He studies only the fighting sculptures. Who is this guy? I'll introduce you to him. Bro, I would love to. Okay, <laughs> uh, super fun guy. So, and he works for the uh, ASI. Okay. So he is just uh, archaeological society. Right. Right. So he just studies the carvings and stuff, which have all these wrestling, uh, you know, the positions. There are, and he showed me some of them. Right. Like, Oh, this is fucking phenomenal. He yeah. said no one has documented this. People need to know. People need to that know. There, it's not just correct. So there's a rumor that even. Sh- uh, Uh, what uh, it might be terribly wrong, but there's a rumor that uh, this Shaolin stuff, the uh, kung yeah, fu, yeah, right, kung fu yeah. originated from India when uh, uh, Vikramaditya went Correct. to China. Correct, that is empire. Yeah, China. 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 He went to China. Correct. Only then it started. So there's that, this yeah. rumor. Yeah. There's this rumor. I read it somewhere. Wiki video. No, or something. and even like our wrestlers. Right. So the thing is, it's uh, we've always wrestled in matti matti. Yeah. In traditional years. Right. Thing. So, looking at success on an international scale is not the barometer to to figure out how good our wrestlers are. Mm. You know, especially in the eighties, nineties, what happened is everyone was fighting on mats over there. Yeah, we we don't fight on mats, mm. right? We didn't fight with shoes, right? So, you our guys going there, it's a completely sh- different shape. Different yeah, yeah. You you know you don't get that same feel of the of the I'm soil sure. and yes, all that yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. So, a lot of times, what happened is went in the background. Yeah, our guys are not good. But, but that good, wasn't the point. Yeah, good. yeah. You know, we used to dominate this shit. Right, right. Back in the day. Have you heard of Gama? Yeah, man. Gama, exactly. He's historic. He's, he's, he's a talking, legend. Yeah. He's a legend. It's like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's hopefully now it's like more and more people are coming out and you know talking yeah. about stuff. It's. Uh, it's so I, I'm waiting for the time when you know I love this T-shirt as well. I don't understand it. But I'm I'm waiting for the time when you know. Uh, you and i'm sure you know it's it's not all i might whatever i say right now might <laughs> not sound right or whatever but i think monopolizing or you being just the only one in the area is not is not good for the game it's not all. good for you in the long run or, so more people should absolutely. come absolutely no yeah, it's more it's clubs more fun, yeah. should be competition absolutely. like healthy competition you could with gym scene yeah in kalainagar Uh, you throw a stone in Kalyan, right? <laughs> you hit a bloody gym. You hit five gyms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's good. You know, yeah. it helps yeah. the trainers to also Foot come up with new things. Yeah, yeah. Acha, kuch to naya karo, yeah. You right. know, all that stuff. Uh huh. So, uh, it. I personally want as many gyms as possible to come right. because then competition to oh, hey. Oh, awesome man. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. You're lean and muscular, so you have yeah, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Next martial arts conquer from. It. I can't wait for you to open. Where, where in KP are we talking? So hopefully, if you are, no, no. Hopefully, yeah. lane six uh, is what we're doing. Lane six. How big will be the space? Because you need a lot of space. It's like a studio space. Okay. So hopefully, it'll be big mats and bags and stuff like right, that. Right, Maybe right. I'm, there's no you know space for a cage right now. Okay. But uh, cage is. But the thing yeah. is, what happens is uh, when people fight, right, and they get inside this thing, and you 
get brushed against the cage. You need that feeling? You need that. Okay. Because otherwise it's completely... You're not training properly then. You know, oh. I mean, even the strategy, because I've done it once or twice and I feel like, fuck, what is this? And suddenly it's an alien feeling on your shoulder. You don't want to be thinking about it. Yeah, I've trained... You know Nitro Gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have a they cage, have a cage dance. dance. I only got slapped on the roof. Plus, I, 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 so we... There was another thing. It's not just we were getting slapped. So all the kids who were looking kids... But all the people who were learning, right? They yeah. had to slap each other. So oh. That's where you get even. Yeah. Not with Dhruv. But, <laughs> but with others. Yeah. But with others. Yeah, you're like, yeah. No, no. It's, it's important. Like, even when I was learning Taekwondo, right? So, we used to spar every other day. Every day. There used to be sparring every day. Yeah. And uh, funny story, there used to be this one kid. My, probably my height and stuff like that. Right. Bony fucker. Uh-huh. And when he used to kick, right? And he uh-huh. block. It used to hurt like, his oh, shin was like rock hard. Uh, blocking? Uh, you you it really, hurts, man. <laughs> you think he blocks yeah, say your, yeah, right. your legs and, so your, oh, if you have to do this, Correct. right? Your fucks and, or whatever yeah. you call that, it fucks out. Fucks out. <laughs> and every single day, <laughs> uh, uh, Yeah. Like, fuck, man, I gotta fight this You need to know what you're getting into, right? Yeah, I used to like, wait, Wish that this guy's absent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can fight someone else. All this shit. Not him, not him. Not him. Because he used to hook me, yeah? And, yeah. and he was flexible as hell, you yeah. know, and he was super. But then, in the one fine day in a tournament, hmm. I beat him. Oh. And then, if you know, when you, you pass that one fear, I'm like, right. fuck. Yeah. This feeling, I understand what you know, this feeling yeah, is yeah, like, yeah. And even in the, it can be done. It, it can be done. <laughs> yeah. even, like even that time, we used to practice in our, you know, the whole uh, get up and all that. Right, right. But when you go for tournaments, uh-huh. the rule was you have to wear the bloody guards. Okay. Or yeah. the helmet. The taekwondo, yeah. Taekwondo. Yeah, yeah. So my problem is like, if you're not sparred in that every single day, right. suddenly you go and wear it, you don't know how the hell to fight in mm-hmm. that. Because it's not like... Same that happened to wrestlers. They were in shoes. It's like yeah. customized to me. Uh, one size fit all. There is yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. So it's not... You can't kick suddenly. Yeah, you can't see. <laughs> so, you know, which is why it's important for... As a going ahead of a gym, uh, you need to have that equipment everywhere. Because mm. the, it shouldn't be like a guy has gone and then he's... You yeah, know, right. he doesn't know the feel of a particular thing. So it's always better to... As much as possible. Mm. Start small. So when you're more. starting, I need to know that... Uh, you know... For example, even clubs have rules yeah, that, yeah. okay, you, you you know, subject to profile or whatever, you, you allow only certain. So, is that a thing no, or no, no. anyone no, can anyone, come? Yeah. Anyone can come. See, my, I've always had this thing that, you know, uh, martial arts is always a community. It's like a mental thing. It's yeah. about mutual respect. And if you've crossed the threshold and come in and you want to do it. So, there's no filter the crowd or something or maybe you want to price yourself high like uh, so they will the pricing will obviously be in a particular way where we are also okay sustainable for keeping the place business, business, yeah. Yeah. but it's not that we don't turn someone away just because we don't feel he doesn't he or she doesn't fit the profile right 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 if that person wants to learn and what all arts are you introducing like so uh, Kapoor is 100% there okay. it's very good for flexibility right. you know, I'm not a big fan of that movement okay. but it's, it's nice I mean yeah. the rhythm <laughs> yeah. the, the fighting rhythm yeah so it, it is one of those things which develops the rhythm. Like how long, like, I, no. <laughs> how skipping uh, yeah. is a rhythm yeah. you know, for footwork. Yeah, right, right, right. Most boxers do it. Boxing to 100%. Sure. We'll have uh, hopefully some jiu-jitsu guy. Oh, I'm waiting uh, for that, man. We not going to have taekwondo or karate per se, but have striking coaches. Yeah, so because ground game and striking. Correct, is, yeah, because yeah. if they want to do taekwondo, I, 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 we I, can't. Are you, are you looking for Krav Maga? Krav Maga is also one thing, but there are a lot of places with Krav Maga. I don't know if, how effective it is. In, uh, but you should, you should. I will have it. You should, you should absolutely. It is, again, a brutal, uh, bloody martial art. There are two things that I really, really want to learn is Jiu-Jitsu and Krav Maga. Krav Maga only because I want to improve the striking. striking I, yeah. I want to strike. And their yeah. strike is so lethal and fast. Yeah. You know, the, suddenly, you don't even know where it's come from. So, it's... Uh, it was like purely... Yeah. It originated so, out of, you know, Israel. Israel, yeah. 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 So, it's uh, super strong. Army stuff, right? Army that's stuff, like, yeah. And that's like, that, that's to kill. That's to kill. Yeah, okay, it's yeah. like all lethal. Most of them are either deflect and lethal shots. Yeah, so exactly. It's not, they, it's not they a sport. Like, they don't say Krav Maga sport. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. <laughs> There's some, I didn't want to waste some time. <laughs> <laughs> sure, man. Yeah, so it's like, because we we'll obviously will not be able to teach the Taekwondo, the Katas, you know. I'm, that is I'm, a completely different uh, thing. And I don't think that's useful anymore. I'm, I'm no, no disrespect to the... No, yeah. I, no, I think it was more about the discipline of the, yes. uh, the practitioner. Right. So when you're doing that block, right? So yeah. you get the... If you're doing it in a particular way, you will not fuck up when you're doing a fight. Right. My 
reading is like that. So yeah. when you're doing that kick or you move this way, right. so that function of blocking it this way, if you just oh, okay, uh, but when you learn that, and right. they say you have to do it perfectly for you to get the next bend. Right. So then you will not mess around. You will do it, you know, properly. And so would you just be authorized to give belts like seniority? So I have. Uh, We've applied for the jiu-jitsu uh, thing, right? But uh, not in taekwondo, because okay. there's it's just going to be striking. So but jiu-jitsu, no, there will be belts. Yeah, there will be belts. Right. So hopefully that works out fine. Because awesome. again, it's all and in India for the longest time, like when I was learning, there used to be a Pune Taekwondo Federation, uh-huh. and then the Taekwondo Federation of Pune. Right. So you don't really know who is the right person yeah, yeah, to align yeah, yeah, exactly, with. Exactly. Exactly. But luckily now it's just the MMA Federation of India, right. and they, there's you know there's uh, a clear uh, hierarchy there saying. You need to get the license from mm. these guys and stuff, so it's easier. So it should be fine. Let's see. And are you focusing on nutrition? In we'll, yes, we'll have like, a you know uh, let your fighters know. Okay, okay. It's very basic. You don't have basic. to get very yeah, complicated. We, no no, no yeah, protein no, shakes no, no, no. like very basic. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because diet is very important. It it's, is. It is. You know, you can do anything you want, but if your diet is shit, you're still gonna you know feel like shit. Yeah. Forget about looking. Yeah. That energy levels won't be there. It's very simple. So uh, right. just, just a basic assessment of, Achha, you, you're eating this, so can you just substitute this? Let's try this. So you're always uh, enamored by the stars, right? And people who are famous. So mm-hmm. I was I was looking for Gracie's. Like, what, oh, do they, yeah. what do they eat? They have a very unique blend. Yeah, I mean, Is it? Uh-huh. They focus more on how to mix the food. Like, oh, what all correct. to eat together and what all not to not eat to together. Eat. Oh. And they diet. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, if you want to have dessert... And for de- when when it comes to dessert, they mean fruits. Okay. Fruits. So that's Gracie family <laughs> of Honda. So if you want to have dessert, only have a dessert meal. Like Achha, don't, don't eat your food. Oh, don't apple. have your lunch and then don't go do for banana apple. No, uh, no, no, no. Instead, have your lunch and next meal, whatever it is, have. So he they they eat like watermelon papayas with cream cheese. That's their meal. They eat a full watermelon with. So that's my meal. Done. Yeah, yeah done. Done for the day. Breakfast will be like eggs and all. So they tell you, okay, don't mix two starches. So don't eat rice and potato right, right, together. Right. Don't oh. eat rice and, you know, something correct, starchy correct, correct, together. Correct. And don't mix uh, acidic, citric oh. fruit with others. That's it. Plain, simple Super. and have three meals. That's it. Or even just Muay Thai guys. When you talk to them, right. you know, what do you do? Fuck the rip, right? So yeah, yeah. You, they just eat basic, like chicken. Yeah. And, you know, they'll have their rice. Yeah. And they'll have the liquids. Yeah. Their, their veggies and that's it. I think when you size bigger, you want to get bigger. Correct. That's where things that's have right. gone. I won't say fucked up, but that's where things have gotten really complicated. And it's like you said, now bigger doesn't mean stronger. Too. Yeah. You know, you can be a big ass guy, yeah. but you, if you can't climb the stairs to the bloody gym, there's a problem there. <laughs> yeah. There's you're waiting thing. for the bloody elevator. Yeah. There's a bloody yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah. You know, every yeah. day I'm walking, I'm like, dude, what? Yeah. So, <laughs> why? Cardio. <laughs> I know I've seen your post like you like working out but yeah, are yeah. you like okay I need gains or no, something? No, no, no. Yeah, long, I gave it up long time back. Yeah. It's a, the thing is my, my thing is basically I would like to play basketball for as long as possible. Right. And oh, you love that sport now. Yeah, as yeah. long as I can. Yeah. And obviously now this, you know, as long as I can sustain, you yeah, know, yeah. throwing punches or what. So gain is basically, it's aesthetic, right? Mm. It's not... It, exactly, it you, need you, yeah, you need to know. Yeah, you need to know. It is yeah. not, it's for sure. Like, obviously, right. you, you do that, you go to fucking Goa, take a picture, you're going to look like a cat. Yeah. But that's okay. But that's it. That's, that's it. about it. Take yeah. one picture and go, yeah, and that's yeah. it, you know. Yeah. What is... Or a shoot. Let's talk professionally. <laughs> <Or a> shoot. <laughs> Something yeah, that shoot, shoot yeah. money, yeah, whatever. But, but what is, you know, and my thing has always been like, you know, Take sustainable, yeah, no? sustainable and enjoy life. Exactly. No, don't. I don't enjoy the muscle wala yeah, part. Don't, don't enjoy it so. Like, like, don't be what? so strict. Saying, "Achha, nahi, yaar, wo nahi yaar, bring on the fucking dessert. Yaar, like, yeah. yaar, <laughs> yeah. you know, bring it. Yes. Like caramel custard. Bring it, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, dude, you, like, fuck it, man. <laughs> Work it out next day or yeah. whatever. Eventually, it'll yeah. get off. So. I don't really, you know, starve myself mm. or just take protein. I've never had a protein shake in my life. Ne- never? Never. I started one month ago. Yeah? But it, month. it's working for you? I mean, I, I, I'm very clear that, okay, if I'm going and now I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, this is the zone that I'm in right now. Let's one year focus on aesthetics. Okay. I know that. Correct. I know that. It's not going to give me anything, you know, I'm not going for shoots. 
if someone calls me that fine yeah but but but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm, i i want to see but it is very clear that this thing is only going to help me recover better correct because i'm putting extra load on my bicep but, or right. my chest or whatever yeah, yeah. only to get that shape, shape correct. that's it that's it i know i'm very clear so i said i was like okay let's just you know experiment i used to have but that time bro science ki ha protein <laughs> shake protein shake now yeah. i know how things correct, work correct, how diet yeah. works right and i know my frame i know i can't get that bigger big, uh, unless i eat shit loads of food correct. calorie surplus ka bhi baap kar lo and you know i don't want to be there and man. you're young so what happens is Dude, all this, still that's not <laughs> eventually what happens is uh, getting that mass and stuff it starts wearing you down in your 40s 50s you know your knees are the first things to go sure and so it, it have you it, seen arnold lately yeah bro he looks so i I'm, i know i'm comparing people normal people with you know correct, arnold schwarzenegger right. but all these people who've become big, big right yeah. now they look sure, very yeah. not even shrunk but they look very weird it's like huge chest correct, and correct. they look like loose pan up yeah. and it looks like you yes. know a lot of hanging Sag, yeah. yeah saggy it is bound to happen and the thing is he, you know he's his entire life he's been doing what he's yeah. been doing and obviously that is also not sustainable exactly so it it all depends yeah? and if and for aesthetics also it's i i mean it's very important for a person's to look good yeah. i mean you look good you feel good mm. there's no uh, question about it right but to what level you go is up to each you know yeah, you obviously know. you know you you lift weights you look, you want to look good that's why yeah. you're going to the gym you know, yeah. you're, you're healthy but at the end of the day you, are, you know you need to look good huh. so that is important right but my thing is aesthetics is fine but if you're not strong enough to carry off the aesthetics right you know foundation yeah, yeah foundation and health good yeah. health and foundation yeah. yeah like people skip legs yeah i'm like dude you need to do legs yeah like in bombay you used to go to this one gym i used to stay uh, in andheri huh. so all these wannabe models and yeah. you know are like color audition and uh, all these guys come to me and you used to go to the gym and all these guys were full of them so you should go and train out that and i guess it's a rithik jaisa body karna acha <laughs> He's like घर बांधा है कभी हाँ इसे घर क्या घर कभी build किया है घर अच्छा अच्छा हाँ the tennis हाँ 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 so इसे हाँ किया है sir हाँ तो पहले terrace करते हो क्या पहले नीचे का करते हो yeah ठीक नीचे का legs मार डाले बंद रहते हैं बंद रहते हैं रोशन यार so it's it's like that but it's everything has its place hmm. and I think it's very important like like you know you're focused on this thing right now but you're yeah. not ignoring the other part yeah you know so it's it's a it's an evolution yeah. there, obviously there was a time when everyone wanted six packs mm-hmm. you know you saw peter andre when we were in college mm-hmm. i don't know it's still probably too old for you but but i i, I continue i like peter I, andre okay yeah okay if you see him there's this one video which all the chicks is love in college okay it's called mysterious girl okay so you see that right fuck no and that time mtv channel we was right. new so they used to keep playing all this shit जनी the muscles are tight like that because obviously he's an actor for him it's justified yeah. he can do that right. and he had guidance absolutely people go mad man right? yeah. with no just, just google yeah okay. absolutely they, they go crazy awesome. bro anything else that you want to share oh cool yeah this was great yeah. was, i loved uh, loved it man it was, i had an amazing time super fun to oh, just I I I I wish you all the very luck with MMA syndicate Thanks India so the much. gym and yes. I hope to see your <laughs> fighter somewhere and I hope to see myself in your gym I, and they uh, practice I hope to see you I hope we you know we can get some you know, jiu jitsu stuff done yeah man yeah I, I, and, and and you know what this is all people always collaborate or something this is like purely out of heart and for the love of the sport absolutely whenever yeah. i get a chance right i will give you huge <laughs> shout outs and in ever in any way that we can collaborate it will be perfect no, no, I, you know the what is interesting now is the culture so to speak is right. so it's so nice even conducive the, right now even the mma culture right, like, you know right. we are talking there, there are a lot of these gyms and we share each other stuff on online yeah. and they're like hey cool man you know they, they are sharing your stuff right right so right so it, right. it is a nice environment yes, to yes, be in yes. hopefully it, it remains that way should, should, you know yeah. uh, so it's 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 a good as long as you're doing legit and genuine stuff Absolutely, right yeah. it finds yeah. its way it's it finds, finds its way, way. Yeah. there are always some people that 